Hi guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today I bring you the 2018 Mazda CX-5. This one's in deep crystal blue Mika with the interior color being parchment and the total MSRP comes to 32375. Features the Skyactiv 2.5 liter engine, 187 horsepower and 186 pound feet of torque. Taking a quick walk around to the vehicle here very good looking vehicle. Mazda does a great job with their cars. Thanks to Werner Mazda in Manchester, New Hampshire, I am able to film this review for you guys today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. Beautiful white leather all throughout. Leave it up on the doors here. Like the wood finish. All right. Once you're inside, it's a very comfortable place to be. You have your heated seats, your climate control settings, your automatic lift gate, which I'm not going to open because then I'll lose the dealer plate, and then you have your lane departure warning. All four windows are automatic and power. See even that one there. You have your sunroof, which of course is power. your dome light settings here. Overall it's a very very nice place to be. So let's go ahead and take a drive. One thing I did find with this car is just how good the turning circle is. So for an SUV that's awesome. Very quiet, which is great. Variable, very comfortable driving experience. Very good torque, low down torque, very usable power I should say. After just stepping out of the CX-3, this is a much more refined, luxurious driving style. One of the coolest features this car has, and if I get a car in front I'll show it, is the radar guided cruise control. So essentially you set the following distance, you set the speed you want to stay at and the following distance, and the car will slow down. If that car slows down, once the car speeds up again, it will speed up to match the distance. It's very cool and very intuitive, easy to use.
over potholes. Very smooth. Very comfortable. I try lane departure here. You'll see it pops up in that display. You also get a rumble in the steering wheel. Here we go, I'll catch up to this car. So we can try out the cruise control here. So it's slowing down automatically. Now it's speeding up. But yeah, it's very cool. So unlike the CX-3, you don't have paddles on the steering wheel. Instead you have right here where um, downshifts are up, upshifts are down, which is the way it should be. From someone that drives a manual transmission vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis, this is easier to use. Put it into sport mode, see what that does. Sport mode keeps the revs up a little bit more. And you'll see on uh, deceleration, it will downshift for you. Or maybe not, maybe under more aggressive braking. Speaking of brakes, let's go ahead and try the brakes here. Full panic stop style. And see how it does. Very good. Very good.
Turkey's still there. As long as it doesn't fly in front of the car, I'm fine. That, that would not be fun. In the comments, let me know what cars you want to see me review as well. Um, if you have any suggestions, any uh, tips to improve, or any cars you want to see me test, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Let's go ahead and take this car out onto the freeway. eventually once we get through traffic. See if I can use that guided cruise control again. So here's how you can set it right here just with this button. One. So now I'm following that car. So now it's increasing my speed. Of course the car is getting off the highway. But then it will continue up until the speed that you set it at. car does feature blind spot monitoring so there's a car on your blind spot little indicator in the mirror will illuminate and let you know that there's a car there Once we're up to highway speed, it is a very comfortable driving experience, right about 70 miles an hour. Gauge is showing right around 40 miles per gallon. Take that back, probably about 30. Let's try radar guided cruise control with a semi truck. Now it's slowing me down. All right, gotta love that. If you wanna get a little closer, decrease the following distance. See the car is slowing down on its own now. All right. Very cool, very good idea. Overall, this is a very good car to drive, very techy, I should say, very luxurious, 
and a great buy, especially for 32000 or and change. So thank you very much for watching Car Guy 1999 Reviews, and stay tuned for future reviews. Have a good one, guys.